Hi everyone, this is the first video in topic C11, Chemistry of the Atmosphere, which is a really interesting and relevant topic. In this first video, we're going to be looking at the changes in the atmosphere since the Earth began four and a half thousand million years ago. That's 4.5 billion years ago. In the beginning, there was an intense amount of volcanic activity with volcanoes covering a lot of the surface of the Earth and they were churning out carbon dioxide, water vapour, methane, ammonia and nitrogen. But by far the most abundant gas was carbon dioxide. So there was a lot more carbon dioxide than any of the other five gases. And you'll notice at this stage there's no oxygen in the atmosphere. But it's really important you learn these five gases that form the early atmosphere. When we look at the present day atmosphere on Mars and Venus, it's very similar to that early atmosphere on Earth that we've just been talking about. And often they refer to this in an exam question. So if you get an exam question where it gives information, it might be a table of gases about the gases in the atmosphere of Mars or Venus, it's really telling you what the Earth's early atmosphere was like. So you can annotate the question to say that that information also refers to the Earth's early atmosphere. Today's atmosphere that is all around us and that we're breathing in all day long is very different to that early atmosphere. 78% of the air that we're breathing in is actually nitrogen. 21% is oxygen. 0.04% is carbon dioxide and 0.9% is other gases, mostly argon. Now the keen eyed amongst you will realise that they don't perfectly add up to 100% because there's been a few figures rounded along the way. But once again, you do need to remember these figures for your exam. You need to know how the atmosphere has changed from the Earth's early atmosphere to today's atmosphere and more importantly what has brought about those changes. So the first really obvious change is that nitrogen levels have increased to 78%. That's the most abundant gas in the air today. And that is because it's been emitted by volcanoes and gradually is built up in the air. Secondly, the amount of water vapour in the atmosphere has decreased. And that's because as the Earth cooled, the water vapour in the atmosphere condensed into liquid water and this formed rain. And as the rain fell, it formed the oceans. So we've got it changing from water vapour in the atmosphere into the water of the oceans. Oxygen levels in the atmosphere have increased because in the early atmosphere there wasn't any and now we have 21% oxygen in the air. And the reason for this is due to plants and algae. Now algae are tiny microscopic plants that live in water or in damp places and plants and algae evolved around 2.7 billion years ago and that's a figure that you have to remember for your exam. And once they evolved, they started producing oxygen whilst they were photosynthesizing. And over the last 2.7 billion years, all of the plants and algae on Earth has been putting more oxygen into the air. And that's why it's increased up to the current level of 21%. Carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere have decreased drastically from over 90% to today's level of 0.04% and there's several reasons for this. First of all, the plants and algae that we've just been talking about producing oxygen at the same time were taking in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Quite a lot of carbon dioxide also dissolved in the oceans and some carbon dioxide got locked away for the last millions of years. So some of that was used by sea creatures as they formed shells around themselves and shells are made from calcium carbonate. And then when those shells fell on the seabed over hundreds of thousands of years, they got compressed and turned into carbonate rocks like limestone. So the carbon dioxide from the air first got locked away in the shells. And then as that turned into carbonate rocks, it further got locked away and taken out of the atmosphere. 
Also, some carbon dioxide is locked away as coal. If you remember, coal is formed from trees that lived millions of years ago and fell in the swamps and they turned into coal. So that carbon dioxide was originally taken out of the air by those trees and is now locked up as coal. When we burn that coal, it's then releasing it back into the air. Similarly, when oil was formed, carbon dioxide was locked away and the same as natural gas was being formed as well. If you found the video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.